Hello guys, how's it going? This is Shalom from Dreams and Ambition and uh, well today I'd like to talk a little bit about the American economy if you will, um, more specifically about real estate. Um, I got my real estate license in 2014 and uh, I, I worked with a real estate investor uh, at the time, uh, my broker. And I figured out my real estate license, started working with a broker, um, who ended up being a great mentor for me in terms of real estate, taught me a lot of the ins and outs. Uh, the company I worked with at the time uh, as my broker, his primary thing was flipping houses, uh, which he did very, very well, which is actually why I got my real estate license was to try and learn from him how to flip homes. Um, my primary job there was more as a like analyst. So I would find the homes, find the properties, do the numbers on how much we should buy it for, how much we should put into rehab, and then further how much we should sell it for. And being a real estate agent, um, I would also be the one to put it on the market. So that's how we operated. And I did that for some time. And so I learned a lot. Um, the house I'm currently in today, um, as doing this video right now, is uh, a home that uh, I was able to purchase for my parents, and it was supposed to be a flip, and it was a great deal, um, and we bought it. So that was, you know, a few years ago. However, I do want to talk about the real estate market since and kind of where it's going, where I foresee it going. So the flipping market was hot. Everyone seemed to want to flip. Everyone called himself a real estate investor. Um, you know, tons of signs everywhere. We buy houses cash and all this stuff. So I'm just going to give, you know, my take on it from my experience from and from that angle, you know, um, going back to the, 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 you know, 2008, 2009 crash, if you will, uh, here in the States, you know, a lot of people had mortgages, a lot of people lost their homes. And so what happened was these mortgages are obviously owned by the big banks, whoever lended the money to you, you know, your Wells Fargo's, your Bank of America's, Bank of California's, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so once people started defaulting on their loans, then these banks take the property back because you technically don't own your property or your house until you pay it off. If you have a mortgage, you don't own your house. Uh, you are just paying off a loan, you know? So once you default on it for a extended period of time, they have the right to take it back. So it doesn't matter how long you've owned it for. It doesn't uh, matter how much you've paid off on it. Once you start defaulting to a certain extent uh, where they have the right to take it back, you no longer have any rights to that. So what happens is, you know, is people have been paying their mortgages for X amount of years and, you know, the economy goes bad and then they can't pay their mortgages and then the bank takes the property back and now they don't own their property and they've been probably paid hundreds of thousands on, 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 on their, on their mortgage that now becomes irrelevant. Right? So once the banks take those properties back, the bank then decides to sell it off to somebody who can afford it at a much more discounted price. So the banks obviously made their money um, taking those mortgage payments from you for years. And now they have the opportunity to get it off their hands because they don't want to manage the property. You know, banks don't have real estate agents necessarily working for them full time to go out and, you know, buy this property, sell that property. That's not really how it works. So for the bank, it's strictly a numbers game. Um, they need to get this bad mortgage off their books. You know, it's a defaulted loan. Uh, it's called non-performing loan, the NPLs. 
they need to get those off their books uh, in order to make space for good lenders or at least have some cash that they can lend out some more. So your non-performing loan, which is your mortgage, now gets sold off to somebody else, um, some company or some real estate investor who has cash to, to pay for it. And because they buy it in cash, they will probably get it at a better price than uh, what you were offered, you know, because you took a loan to get it. So you don't get any discounts for that. You actually need to pay more than what it's worth. However, with, with cash investors, they get much better discount on the property. So that's where your real estate investor comes in. They come in with some cash and they buy the property for a good deal. And if the property needs some work, then they put some labor into it, a rehab into it, and then they put it back on the retail market um, to, to sell it at a profit to somebody else. Now that person uh, is likely, again, someone who is coming with a mortgage or with a loan from some lender, likely a bank, to buy that property at the high rate. That's how, that's how, um, that's how it works in a nutshell. So um, my experience has been both as an agent and sort of as a quant, if you will, um, finding properties, running numbers, um, doing all that. So that's where my experience with it comes. Um, and you know based on the patterns uh of of the market of real estate you know 2019 was bad or 2008 rather all the way leading to for, for quite a number of years it was pretty bad and people lost all their stuff didn't have money and now you have over the last you know four years or so things have been picking up and so you see more people buying properties now and you know being homeowners etc cetera, etc cetera. um however these things always repeat themselves so you have another crash coming you know you have another um hard time on the economy coming and then people are going to go back to the same old pattern they're going to stop paying their mortgages and then they're going to default and then the bank's going to own the property again and then they lose their properties and then you're going to have a period of time where you have your real estate investors who have cash liquid come in and buy off those properties again and then you're going to have that same cycle and then you'll have more of an influx of more real estate investors who are out there and um and then it's just going to keep going on and on so um there is a crash coming uh, i do feel like there is one coming within the next few years and a lot of people are not ready and, and the thing is, um, I've had conversations with certain people who I think or um, should be paying attention, better attention to 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 some of that, uh, particularly because I had some concerns that they might uh, fall victim to the next crash. Um, however, you know, in times of hardships. Uh, there's also opportunities and so you have different types of people you have those who are going to be the victims and you have those who are going to be the winners um, people who are going to prepare themselves for it and people who are not you know um, so being someone with that much experience in the industry I love real estate um, it's not something I do primarily uh, however it is a great form of wealth building it's a great form of investment um and i enjoy it several places here in the states in nigeria um across west africa in general uh, so i pay attention to it um and i will just give my two cents on it so again as somebody coming with a real estate license uh experienced in finding great property deals and doing the numbers and doing rehabs. I mean, I've been doing real estate rehab since I was in college. That was one of my households. You know, um, I played soccer. I worked as a dispatcher. I, I did real estate rehabs. Um, so 
I've tapped into most aspects of it, you know, from the rehabbing aspect to being the real estate agent to being what you call your uh, bird dogs. That's what they call the people who go out and find those properties that they present to real estate investors. That's why you find so many signs that say we buy cash or blah, 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 blah. Oftentimes, those are bird dogs who find the property and they can somehow secure it under a certain price and then they go to someone they know who has cash or who is a real estate investor who has all the capital and all the cash to actually buy it from them cash and they pretty much just broker the deal. Uh, it's rare that you find someone who has the cash and also directly is the one who you know, uh, finds the property. So, you know, different insights in the business, in the game uh, that I've learned over the years. So I'll just, again, give my two cents on that. Uh, so yeah, another one's coming and it will just depend on who's ready and who's not. It's going to be a great time for real estate investors. If you have the capital, it's going to be a fantastic time because there's going to be tons of properties to buy. Um, so there's that. You know, that's that's more on the residential side. On the commercial side, uh, I do have actually, I'd say right now I'm about 50-50 in my experience, both in residential and commercial um, real estate. You know, the commercial side is the uh, same concepts, but bigger numbers, more capital, um, and, and longer space of time, if you will. But there are opportunities in both. In, in, in both residential and commercial and uh, yeah that's that's my take on it so there will be another one coming and uh, we'll see who's ready who's not there are certain hot areas that people typically go for you know when economies crash and there's there's huge inventory of real estate to buy you know if you are a smart investor I would say look for those niche markets if you can if you happen to live in those markets you know those will definitely have some great deals for you and for the hot markets you know it just kind of depends on your resources who you know how much you hustle to, to find those deals but those deals are going to be there um, i feel like i'm already seeing little signs of it um particularly just in the influx of how many people are buying right now right now it's a uh, it's definitely a seller's market. You know, if you, if you have property to sell, you're selling it at a great price. You're getting your bang for your buck. If you invested years ago, you are probably going to make your most profit right now within the next, you know, uh, 2019 or so. Uh, but I don't know if it'll uh, really push past that. I think we'll start seeing, you know, the, the, the downturn probably towards the end of next year. Um, but yeah, that's just my, my opinion. So take it for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, this is Shalom. And you can find some more of my videos here. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll put this in the you know uh, business playlist where I talk about business stuff and real estate being one of them. So that's that.